Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've done an empties. I believe this is the first one for the entire year. And I think we're going on like four months of not filming an empties video, which for me is a really long time. I mean, I think that empties are just like a staple video when I think of my channel in like seven years I've been on YouTube. And in my last empties video, I think that was maybe December-ish um, of last year of 2021, I talked about how I'm kind of over empties. And when I was saying that how I was feeling was I didn't want to keep up with them monthly. I felt like they were maybe getting a little boring. I felt like pressure to use things. Like there was just a lot going on. So I was like, I'm gonna like open the valve, relieve some of that pressure, you know, and uh, just see kind of what happens. And I have to tell you I'm very very happy with the results I have a massive empties here to share with you I know it's a lot of stuff and I'm gonna try to keep it more exciting or at least keep the exciting things at the beginning of the video because I know that's what you guys want to see but I I think some things are exciting like I think hand soap is exciting so it's tough like I think a really good floss kind of is exciting right? Like, I don't know. And so since I'm not talking about these products every single month, I might also just go through them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided. I might just like cut some of the stuff out. I know this is such a long intro for empties, but I do also want to talk about really fast, just kind of my mindset change on some of this stuff. So I hope you don't mind that, but uh, timestamps, I'll leave a timestamp where I start actually getting into the shit, but we're getting into the mental shit. Okay. That matters too. Like I was saying, I felt a lot of pressure to use things up and something that I've realized in not having having to post these monthly or not like keeping that in my head of like, oh, it's about time to do an empties. Is there enough stuff for another empties video? Really let me be more lax and realistic with how I use products in that I've realized I don't enjoy having to use stuff up. I, I didn't realize how resistant I actually was to it or how unpleasant it really was for me until I let all the pressure go. And so the stuff that I finished up is stuff that I genuinely want to use. There's no pressure. I don't have to use anything up. I'm not trying to get through product. These are all things that are natural. And it also allowed me when I try something that I don't enjoy to then pass it on a little bit earlier and not feel like trapped in this cycle and loop of like, but I gotta finish it, but I don't like it that much. Like I kind of have been able to let some of that go and it's just been great. I really feel like for me, um, not doing something super planned when it comes to finishing things up is better. I almost use things more without having set goals. It's almost like once I set the goal, I am immediately like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me what to do, okay? I'll do whatever the fuck I want or I don't want to use it though. And when I do something more unspoken, it gives me a lot more freedom and I feel like I'm just at ease more when I'm doing it. So that's been great to know and, you know, is definitely different than what I feel like I'm used to with project panning being a big part of my channel, at least at the beginning of my channel. It just doesn't work for me. And so, yeah, that's like good for me to know. I also didn't realize how used to like keeping all of my trash I was, uh, like how that was so ingrained in me and like letting myself like, oh my gosh, like when I finish a thing, like I can just, you know, recycle this or throw it away. I don't have to put it in this bin. I just didn't realize how much confinement there was there for me too. It was mind opening in a good way. So definitely some realizations. I definitely think I will be keeping my empties more, you know, sporadic like this, like every four months, five months, that type of thing. I just feel like it makes for a better video. It's better for me. I like it better. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you enjoy this one though. I know it's gonna be long, so let's get into it. I can't wait to share some of the empties that I have. We have some exciting ones. I have, I don't even know. I mean, it's been a while. So some of the stuff let's revisit, you know, first, I just finished this up today, so it makes me so happy. I mean, it's sad because I love this product, but this is from Too Faced, the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Wow, that is a mouthful. I believe this is the second one I've gone through, and I have to say, this is one of the best sprays that is out there. It smells really great to me. It has this coconut, but something kind of medical, almost something plasticky about it. I like that, okay? I like it. <laughs> I think it smells good, and it's refreshing to me. I think the spray is pretty nice 
nice on it. Um, really though, I do find that this kind of melts your products and uh, gives you a really nice glow without being too glowy. And not all mists do that. Like, mm, they don't. Or they make you too greasy. This has nothing greasy about it. It really feels like water. There's no film. There's nothing like that going on. There's no shimmer in it. But something about when this hits my skin, I really do find that whatever powder products I have going on just melt a little bit more together. It's a more seamless look and there's this something glowy going on without being like you know too much so really enjoyed that I'm sad it's gone I have a few that I, I have to use up but I could definitely see myself repurchasing this in the future it's that good it's kind of one of those staples for me and I really enjoyed it so yeah definitely loved that but I'm happy that it's gone because I had this bottle a really really long time and I know there's gonna be so much dust coming out of this. I don't know what it is with this place. We are plagued by dust at this new house. It's the worst, honestly. Anyway, this is another one that is ugh, so bittersweet to use up. These are the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I feel like these have been in my videos on and off for the last couple of months, but I really do love this product. I've, I've turned over, I've decided, uh, even though it's expensive, I do like these. They make my skin so glowy, so dewy. Um, without having like anything tacky going on there's something about how this sits on the skin that just looks great I feel like I can put any makeup on it no problem I like wearing it without makeup they're just a really nice skincare item. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it, so I won't go on and on. I wish we could buy this in a bigger size. I would fork out more money initially, I guess, to have a bigger container of this just because it's so cute, but I can go through these decently fast. I've been allowing myself, <laughs> instead of rationing to one pump, I will let myself use like two pumps or so, and I really like the look of that, the feel of that. So yeah, it can go by a little bit quickly, and the packaging, as cute as it is is a little bit annoying when it comes to getting product out so I would prefer at least buying it a little bit bigger or something anyway really love it though we'll definitely repurchase I have a lot of skincare in like my backup skincare drawer not any of these unfortunately but I kind of want to just try a few things out and give them a chance before going to this but that is something also through empties and all that sometimes you just like what you like you know and you just want to go back to it so I know I know I want to go back to it but I'm gonna give a few things a try before I do this took forever to use up I'm so glad it's gone peach and lilies the good acids pour toner I, I mean it was fine I would rather use like an AHA serum than a toner I don't know I'm sure you can use them together but for my skincare routine I like to do as simple as I can with the most effective results and when I'm talking about results I want my skin to be glowy and plump and uh, just feel like moisturized you know I hate that dry feeling where your skin's just like Ugh feed me like what are you doing where it feels like if you smile you're gonna split your skin like let's not have that I know I'm greasy but obviously we got some issues <laughs> if I can feel that which I can sometimes so anyway I'm just trying to say that I like to keep my skincare as simple as I can as moisturizing as I can and smooth I like I want smooth skin obviously that'd be great thank you and I just feel like this is an extra step that I didn't find I needed. It was a nice packaging. It's okay, but I wouldn't get again. Another makeup type empty, you guys. I finished this Becca mini primer. I have had this. I mean, it's almost like losing a piece of me because I've had this in my collection for so long. I've had this in many a project pan, trying to use it up. And I'm always like, if I don't, I'm gonna finish it though. I'm gonna finish it though. And I actually did it. I'm so proud of myself. This is the Becca backlight priming filter. Becca is no longer. Um, and it's really sad because I I mean, I didn't love this primer as much as I like the purple one, which is maybe the first light. I don't know. The purple one is so good. It really was a very good primer. I would definitely have a bottle of that if that was still being sold, but I don't particularly feel interested in, I'm sure I could get it if I wanted it, you know, they're still on the market somewhere, but I'd rather find the new thing that's actually being made than, you know, cling on to that old product that at some point we're gonna have to let go of. Anyway, this one's not as good, it's a little bit thicker, and I found sometimes it would get into my pores, but I was using this a bit with my sponge, and I never really use a primer with my sponge and apply it that way, but I found that I got a nice sheer application that gave me that luminous glowy look um, without it being too thick, and so that was kind of the perfect way to use it. It's now gone, it was just a mini, but damn, this one, it's kind of like that thing I was saying. Anytime I would put in a project, 
Japan, it was like immediately as soon as I was like, I'm gonna work on you. I also then <laughs> unconsciously was like, I never wanna use you. No, I'm gonna use any other primer. A primer I never use, I'll use that over this. <laughs> What the heck? But it's gone now. It's gone. Another makeup empty. I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you the good stuff here at the beginning. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be discontinuing this. I bought some off of Amazon though. I think you can still get them there. And they're pretty affordable on Amazon. I picked up like three or four of them. The best brow gel, honestly, the wand is so good. I've repurchased this so many times. The wand is so tiny. It has little fibers in it. The color of blonde, this is the light shade. There's only three shades and then I think a clear, but the light shade is just this perfect, not too warm, not too cool. It's dark. It definitely gives me some definition, but it's not too, too, too dark. I feel like it's just, it's been such a staple. I've loved it so much. I'm sad <laughs> that at some point this one, it's gonna be gone and makes me just, yeah. I'm mourning it already, but I'm hoping to find something out there. The new CoverGirl that came out, like the clean line, the white packaging, nothing even close to this, just a goopy, thin, sheer mess. Like this has substance. The gel in there really has something to it. You know, it looks kind of terrifying when you take it out. There's just all these little things, probably some of your brow hairs are in there, but I love it. I love this. I'm so sad. <laughs> That's one I will. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to it for a while because I go through brow products so much faster than like, you know, primers or anything. So if you have good recommendations for a nice brow gel that has hold, has good color, has some fibers, let me know. I, I'll even pay up a little bit. I don't necessarily, well, it's gonna get expensive. I don't know, let me know if you have suggestions. That's all I have to say. Now, you guys might not think that this is exciting, but I love this hand soap and I'm not afraid to say it, okay? This is the Aesop, I think you, Aesop, Aesop? Let me know how to say it. I feel like I've been saying it wrong this whole time, but I really did think it was Aesop, even though it's like Aesop's fable. Okay, whatever. This is the Reverence Aromatique Hand Wash. What a bougie, amazing product. I feel like this is an amazing gift. This is like my gift this year. We gifted different people in Sam's family. It's just so amazing and so bougie. I really like as a gift as well that it's a consumable in that they're not gonna have it forever. It's a useful product, especially if you're not getting something super tailored and unique to each individual. Anyway, this soap is so amazing. It is so expensive. There's no way around that, okay? Like <laughs> It just is. I'm not gonna like sit here and say it's not. It's super expensive, but Sam Sam loves it, I love it. It's one of these like amazing treats when you wash your hands. This is also a big size. It's like 16 fluid ounces, almost 17. So um, that's like double the size of a normal soap, which is nice. And what's so special about this one, the smell, it has this really herbaceous um, herbal smell that I find really relaxing and just quite unique. And some people might not like it, but I really enjoy it. And then also the real special part is that it has these scrubby pumice particles in it that just feel so nice. It is this, like I said, it's like this treat of a moment of washing your hands. Maybe you can like meditate a little or ponder what you have to do next or, you know, I don't know. It's like this moment every time I use it that makes me stop and kind of be in the moment. <laughs> I'm getting really deep for a hand wash, I know, but damn, I love it. And I definitely try to pick this up when it's possible for me, when I have a little extra money or, you know, I'm willing. It's, it's been that good that I, I would do that. That's what I gotta say. I love it. I know it's hand wash, but damn, it is exciting. It's very exciting. <sighs> okay, stuff has leaked everywhere, okay? Another thing I just used up, this is from Bath & Body Works. It's the Fireside Flurries, you guys. This body wash smells divine. The fragrance notes toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere wood. It's one of the best smelling Bath & Body Works scents ever. Mm, I would buy this in a jumbo size immediately. Like I'm almost gonna go try to find more of these because I love it that much. I even have, I brought the spray just to show you. I love the spray and I've never been someone who's like, wash your body, use the matching body mist. That's not really been me, but with this one, it turned me into that girl. It really did. I'm that girl, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I love it so much. I love this scent and I'm sad to have used it. I like the shower gel from Bath & Body Works fine enough and it was just a delicious 
sweet moment in my shower. I'm gonna miss it. I'm really gonna miss it. I hope they come out with it next year. I really, fingers crossed. Like, I think a lot of people liked it, so I'm hopeful, but yeah. Next, I wanna talk about a sponge. This is looking dirty and grody, but I normally feel like I don't save my sponges to talk about. I usually have a beauty blender or like the AOA Wonder Paw Paw Pink Sponge. Like, those are the two I go back and forth on. But I got sent this from Dose of Colors, and the shape is quite odd. It's like very pointed, almost like a pencil or like an eraser tip or something. It's very interesting. Let's move this down a little bit. Okay, sorry. I had to take a break for a second, but what I really wanted to just make sure I mentioned is how great this was. I really enjoyed how soft and supple this got. I don't love how pointed this one is, but it makes me want to try other ones from the Dose of Colors website. They have some interesting shapes, um, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to my sponges. So many are just too dense, too hard. I feel like I'm smacking myself upside the head with something, you know? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that to myself. I want them gushy and soft. It's a fine line to walk, okay? So I loved how this one worked. I'm trying another one. Um, that one's almost done too, but that one's been great. Again, the shapes, they're interesting, and I do think it worked well. I love the end of this one, like to put on stuff. I just didn't use the pointed side as much as I maybe thought, but yeah, I really liked it enough. I wanted to make sure to give it a little shout out because it's pretty good, and I can see myself repurchasing this sponge. I liked it that much. I have some more skincare. This is from Rodial. Um, I think that's how you say it. It's the Sculpting gel dragon's blood this has been a staple in my skincare routine for a very long time like years and years this is stupid expensive it's like a hundred dollars never buy it at that price never never don't do it i would i would not do that. It's not that good, but this is very similar to some of the Glow Recipe products. It's like a gel cream and it's just so plumping and hydrating without being like sticky or dewy or tacky on your skin. It really like locks in and keeps this barrier for the moisture to be like in your skin without again it being tacky. It, it works really well. Sometimes I can get a little pilling with this. so I have to be careful depending, but I love this and I like to pick this up on a deal. I can find this on different like BoxyCharm, subscription sites, things like that. Um, I've, I've found it for like about $27 and that's the money. That's what I want. I would even pay like 35 for it. I think it's pretty, I think it's good enough for that. But I mean, that's a huge markdown from the hundred, <laughs> hundred dollars they want for this so don't get it for that but if you see it on a good deal i would suggest picking it up i really like it it has like a nice sweet smell like it's just it's a good one it's a staple again i've probably gone through like six of these another moisturizer this one's from glow recipe the banana souffle moisture cream i think i got one of these in a boxy charm like last year and then also picked one up for like 18 dollars. and i really like this it's banana but i thought that would be bad but i actually really enjoyed the smell of this this is a again it's a more cream than gel but it's a nice thin cream that really moisturizes and glides onto the skin glow recipe just works for my skin it works for my husband's skin so this is one i would definitely repurchase and is one i know will go through and enjoy it works for a lot of different situations it works for like summer or winter maybe a little bit heavier or like layer this with something else in the winter but um yeah it's a pretty staple product once again definitely would be a repurchase and have repurchased i have a few more body stuff and another kind of matching set here. This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Another amazing one in the shower. One of my favorite scents. I like I love, <laughs> love this scent. Even my brother, he came to visit. Oh, it got everywhere. I have to clean that up. But my brother came to visit and he was like, I really like your shower gel. So I had an extra and I gave it to him. But it just felt so validating that someone else likes it as much as me. So I used this up. I also had the matching sugar scrub in the shower and that was really nice. Again, I never really did the matching thing. I like have a million products, but there is something really kind of fun and nice about matching your products as you use them. And I also have, I mean, I have the whole little family here. This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Whipped Hand Cream. This, my, my friends, sucked. It really sucked. The formula on this was just odd. It's creamy, but as you start blending it in, it almost turns watery and then it can pill on itself. Uh, the smell wasn't nearly as good on my hands. So it just, this sucked. I've heard good things. Like someone told me that the whipped one just isn't good, but other ones are. I'm not sure. It's like the only Bath and Body Works hand cream I've ever tried. And it makes me want to stay away because that one really sucked. So love this scent though. Definitely would repurchase things in the scent. I like it that much. I don't know why it feels 
I feel like I'm like sinking in my screen. I keep like, I keep trying to make sure I'm in frame, but I don't know if it's working. There's still just so much in here. Okay, this might be a boring one to you guys, but I love it so much and there's no other time I could talk about it besides empties, so here we are. This is from Capri Blue. It's the multi-surface cleaner in the volcano scent, so it smells like that candle from them. I really love this. This makes cleaning feel fun and I like the smell. I feel like it works to like deodorize as well as you're cleaning. So really love this, would definitely repurchase. It is expensive, like especially compared to another cleaner, but I've liked it enough and I've repurchased. I like it that much. It smells so good, especially too, if you're like burning the candle while you're using it, it's like doubly potent. Speaking of, I have three different candles to talk about. This one, I, I can't believe I've already gone through a coconut scent when it's not even like, it's just getting into spring and getting into summer, but this is the iced coconut milk candle from Bath and Body Works. It's fresh coconut milk, crushed ice, topped with sweet vanilla cream. And it's definitely that. There is something kind of tangy and tropical, but then a creamy undernote. And I really liked it in this candle and I really liked the way it burned, like how it smelled when it burned. I don't know if I'd like it in anything else. Um, and it's definitely a very specific scent, but I have another one of these, so I'll definitely burn through that. It's just a nice one. It's a nice tropical scent that's a little bit creamy. So enjoyed that one a lot. I think it's the only Bath and Body Works candle that I have. I'm really enjoying the one behind me. I've had a couple people ask. It's Summer Boardwalk. Yeah, and that one smelled really good. It's like caramel popcorn, which I know popcorn. You say popcorn and everyone's scared it's gonna smell like shit, but I'm telling you the caramel comes through more than the popcorn. So it's almost just kind of this caramel salty, like really sweet gourmand smell and it's amazing. I really love it. <laughs> I've been really enjoying it. I'm like, I wish I had another one of those. Speaking of gourmands, this vanilla candle from Skylar is amazing one of the best candles that i've ever burned and i think this i don't know if this is my second one that i've gone through or if this is my first one but i have backups i was able to find this on a really great deal because this candle is too expensive again do not suggest necessarily buying this one full price 45 dollars. is it worth it i don't want to say yes but kind of like i like it that much i feel like the scent throw is there the way that this smells is amazing it's cappuccino pure vanilla caramelized cedar it is such a sweet caramely coffee type of scent. I feel like the scent throw on it is amazing for it being a little one wick. It's just, it's so good any time of year, but especially in the colder months, like, amazing obviously i've repurchased but i think you should try to get a deal on it like it's possible so definitely try to get a deal but it's one of the like one wick candles i feel like super worth it super worth it and last for candles this is my times fraser fur another one of my favorites i just think this smells so amazing it's an amazing sweet fur pine type of scent balsam you know type of thing going on very christmas tree in the best way Love this for the holidays, would definitely repurchase. And I do like this specific size one, like the three wig. This is what I'll probably repurchase. It's, again, another really expensive candle, but the scent throw on it is amazing. Like you can smell this when you're not even burning it. So, you know, you can burn it littler periods of time and still have amazing scent throw. So definitely would repurchase. Again, I'm someone who is very loyal to Bath and Body Works candles because I feel like they're a good value for money and the scent throw, but I would say these two make me excited to try other brands or just know that they're, I mean, you have to pay. These are expensive, more expensive, but the scent throw is there where I've tried expensive ass candles that don't have even near the scent throw of Bath and Body Works. And I do want a candle to like smell my house up. Like that's what I want. I don't want the subtlety, you know? Okay, a little lip break, trying not to have a pink ring, even though I went pretty light with my lips today. Okay, I really hope you can't hear the noise outside, but we're just gonna keep going. I know that if you watch my empties, you've seen this, this is a staple product. And part of me is like, how boring to mention it again. But I just have to say, I feel the most confident in my hair than I that I have in the last, I don't know, six years, like in so long. I have never been someone who will wear my hair down very often and lately. I just think it looks good actually. Like I feel actually good in it instead of like kind of hating it. So I know a big part of that is this. And I just, for you thin haired girls out there who, I get it, I feel you. Our ponytails are tiny, okay? Our ponytails are this big. 
more jealous of people who are upset that they can't like keep their hair up in a bun because they just have so much hair. Like, yeah, what a problem. <laughs> I'm just jealous, okay? Anyway, this dry shampoo, I have, I have the most simple hair routine right now that I've ever had when it comes to getting my hair more volumized and looking thicker. And I feel like it looks the best. Like how? I don't know. I think it's also mindset change and just being okay with some things and not just constantly picking at yourself and hating it. But it's also just this product. If you don't know what this is, it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo Volumizing, okay? Not just dry shampoo, you need the volumizing one. If you have dark hair, this might not work because it can leave a cast, so I'm so sorry. But I think they do tinted um, dry shampoos. I just don't know if they do it in the volume. First off, this smells amazing, so that's just a plus that it's not like some stanky smell uh, because I feel like some of the Batiste ones are a choice. <laughs> like some of those smells are a choice and they're pretty strong. So I'm grateful that I love this one smell-wise the most out of everything I've ever tried. But this really does add this like dry, volumizing powder to all of my hair and it just adds this thickness it just feels so much thicker when it's just in in my hair I put it in the roots I put it in the ends I kind of spray it all over on top of it obviously has the dry shampoo aspect as well but there is something extra with the volume. It really is. So if you haven't tried this and you like volumizing powders, you want a little extra oomph, I'm telling you, this is amazing. I need this in my hair care routine. Need it. I love it so much. Highly suggested. It's getting expensive. Like some places like Ulta, don't buy it from Ulta because my gosh, they charge so much for it. Find it somewhere cheaper, but um, so good. I will go through bottles of this and I... I need it to feel honestly confident and it works so well. Love, love, love it. Last couple hair things that I just wanna to touch on. I have the Viral Color Wash. This is in light pink. I don't use this as much as I used to. I'm not even really pink right now. I'm kind of going with the blonde for a little bit, maybe just for summer. I do wanna go back pink at some point. I do love it, but I don't know. I've been enjoying, <laughs> enjoying the blonde but this is a good one if you want to like keep up with your hair color um, throughout washing it um, I do like this brand and they have tons of different colors I'm very picky with the pinks that I like and, and I don't even think I've really found ones that I, I find perfect, but I will say I'm also a little bit different and changing. I think when I go back pink, I'll still want something a little bit lighter than I've done in the past. Like I want something kind of baby pink where it's just a hint. That's kind of what I want. And I think that wash would actually be best for keeping up that color. The dye that I have quite a bit of right now, this is the insert color here. Um, this one's mixed, I think with another darker pink. So it's kind of both together, but this is from the Care Bear collection. Maybe it's love a lot bear and I have a few of these I ordered some during Black Friday because I was trying to keep my hair pink and I do like this pink It's a nice baby pink color, but even this is a little bit stronger than I want So I would tone this color down now with some conditioner just to get something a little bit lighter a little bit more baby But it's been nice and the pink color. I can kind of just apply with my hands um, Because it doesn't stain too bad, which I really enjoy So yeah, I have a few of these and I'll, I'll keep using them I have quite a few flosses in here. I know I'm the floss girl, but you should be flossing. I mean, when I go to the dentist, they tell me a lot of people don't floss. And I just think even if you don't go to the dentist a lot, because only more recently have I been trying to be an adult and actually do those types of things. I do think flossing will help so, so much. And this one from Coco Floss, it's like a thicker, floss it's not like plastic and it has um coconut oil i think on it to help with bacteria or something i don't know i do really enjoy it and yeah it's one that's a little bit bougie but again i can get them for like five ish bucks instead of what they really retail for and so when i can get them for that price i'll pick them up and yeah we've been using those for like a year or so and i always get good report cards on my my teeth at the dentist so that's good this is my last one of the marvis toothpaste i bought a lot of these at once um and i really didn't enjoy using it. I'm using something whitening right now because I don't know man my teeth just on camera look yellow in real life They really don't look yellow, but on camera sometimes I'm like You know, maybe I shouldn't send this out to 10,000 people anyway Just had I had to mention the toothpaste. Okay. I have a few more skincare stuff This is the rose water daily cleansing gel from good molecules. This is fine. It was in my shower I don't know. I don't I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't think I have right now like a cleanser I just love I really don't. This I didn't like from Pharmacy Feeling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. This smelled like honey, which was, it was a pretty strong honey scent. Not my favorite, like a floral honey realistic scent and that I just didn't love. The texture on this was slimy. 
that's like the best way I can put it. It had the feeling of some other things to me. We won't get into details about that. I just didn't enjoy it. I think that it is moisturizing and I can see other people if they could get past texture, if they could get past smell, like those weren't issues for them. I think it could be nice, but between this, the like really thick, moisturizer and I was using the Honeymoon Glow, which I really do like. I was using all those products at once and it was just too rich for my skin. I was getting little breakouts and stuff. So that also just wasn't good for me. So not a product for me. I was excited to try it and it's a no. Oh my gosh, you guys, another makeup empty. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the like silk liquid balm. So good. This is a really great lip balm, you guys. Like a, a nice liquidy one that feels so plush, so plump. Highly suggest if you're looking for something like that, you don't have something. This is the shade Blush, which is really just kind of clear. I mean, I don't think it's gonna have too much of a tint at all. Really good. I think there's some other colors that have come out since I got this as a sample, but yeah, I would definitely purchase this at some point. I liked it a lot. It was really good. Oh, another glow recipe, but this is a sample. Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay pore type facial. Didn't love this. I don't think it's worth the money. It's hyaluronic acid, but it's a clay mask. It just, I don't know. It kind of burnt a little. It just was nothing special to me. I did not like it. I just didn't, I, I don't know. I just remember being like, I don't like this experience. I don't like this product. I would never pay for this. So not a glow recipe product I connected with. Not for me. Five more products. I do wanna talk about deodorant because I feel like I was trying to do the whole natural deodorant thing and I just, you know what? I'm over it, okay? I need to smell good and I don't wanna destroy my pits. So I just, I stick to the dove, you know? And I'm lucky enough that I'm not doing tons of stuff where I really need a, a high working power one, like deodorant, and Karen Coconut just does it for me. I just have to be careful with any deodorant, even this one, you know, depending. Sometimes I can get really itchy underarms from this even, so I just don't like to, to switch it up too much. I'm over trying to try native and all these other things. They just don't work for me. So yeah, I'm over that. I'm over that journey. <laughs> I deserve to smell good and not be in pain, I've discovered. This is a shampoo I really have enjoyed from IGK, the 30,000 feet volume shampoo. Pretty nice, like the smell. I'm still using the conditioner, but I'm almost done with it because I was actually able to use both together more than I normally do. I have established thin little hairs here, right? So I don't like using a ton of my conditioner. I don't wanna like weigh everything down, but I can get pretty dry hair. Like I can get a little strawy, you know? <laughs> so looking like, hey. So I do like adding some conditioner to help with that. And I found that the IGK conditioner that goes with it is nice and light and I can do that without it weighing my hair down. So that's been really great. It's definitely one that I would repurchase. Like it's, it's that good where I would enjoy using it again. And that's definitely something I've been factoring in. And again, when I was talking about the empties at the beginning, it feels like forever ago. That kind of enjoyability factor is important to me and is something that I've been just like listening to myself for when I'm trying to like use things up and have this be a natural, like using things up be a natural part of what's happening because I just enjoy the product. There is no thing stopping me from wanting to use it up. Next, a body lotion. This one is from uh, Lord Jones. It's the CBD one and I really enjoy this product. This is the fragrance free one. I think I repurchased the grapefruit one. I wanted to try that out. I haven't been having too many issues where I've had to use this actually. Between me getting my gallbladder out and stuff, I haven't had as many issues I feel like needing this, but this really helps, especially when I have a lot of tension in my neck and shoulders. I I find like instant relief from that cream um, and that's been really great. It just kind of relaxes everything, stops it being so tight and I love that it's pretty immediate for me. So love that one. I know it's kind of expensive, but it's just it just works really well for me. I have an eye cream that I repurchased from Belief, the moisturizing eye balm, so good you guys. I've told you that already, um, but lots of product in here. I really love the way this feels. Such a drink of water and drink of moisture under my eyes, it's so plush and plump and moisturizing. Love that for my under eyes. And last I have this. This is the Tree Hut Coco Colada Shea Sugar Scrub. Now, this isn't actually gone. I decided to take it out of here because, you know, I don't really like this packaging. I realized this packaging has some issues because it kind of goes in and so it has a bit of a, the, the base is bigger than the opening. And so it's just like already, 
in there when you're scrubbing yourself with this shit. You know, you try not to get shit tons of water in there and you know, all that stuff. And the packaging is just not helping you. This is very inexpensive. This smells really nice. So what I did is I finished up my way uh, body scrub, the St. Bart's. This is so good, so much better, honest. I know the price difference, I mean, you know. This body scrub I realized, <laughs> Well, okay, so anyway, I filled this with that and look how fancy it looks in here. This packaging made me realize how great it is because it's just an open container. The lip and top is as big as the base, so easy to get every last drop of product out. It's a nice weighted package, it feels so good. So when I put the Tree Hut one in here, I was like, damn, Packaging, you know, is a big part of marketing because this already feels more expensive. This product already feels more, it looks like a little dragon fruit in here. So cute, but, 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 I've been using this in the shower. This scrub feels like it's shredding my skin. I'm like, ah, oh, it's so strong. Like the little gritty particles of sugar are so abrasive. I didn't realize how used to the other scrub I had gotten where it scrubs, but it's still kind of gentle. It's not like, doesn't feel like it's tearing my skin, but that scrub. <laughs> it's like, we need a little more refinement. What's going on? It's nice, but even just on my hands, it's like so scrubby on my hands that I'm like, I don't know. Texturally, it's been interesting going back to that one. It makes the other one seem way worth it to me. But I've just, in general, really not been into as uh, harsh of exfoliants, like physical exfoliants. I used to love that harshness for a, a face scrub. Now I don't. I obviously used to like that for my body. Now I like something a little bit softer. So um, yeah, some just changing preferences going on. Okay, I realized there's one more thing and you know, this took Sam so long to use up that I have to give it, I have to talk about it for a second. Moroccan oil, luminous, hairspray. We need to, we need to record this moment. <laughs> I wouldn't purchase this again, but I do love the Moroccan oil scent of hair products. That ambery scent is so good. It smells so nice when you just kind of like whiff your hair. Ooh, it's so good. But I don't really love the uh, hairspray. I don't know, I love the Moroccan just oil. That's really nice, but yeah, I even the dry shampoo, I need that volume, so I wouldn't even get that anymore. Anyway, let's just end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed the long mega empties video and I hope it wasn't too boring. I know there's some repeats in there and there's this part of me, like when I did this, I'm like, I'm only gonna keep it to exciting things, but some of the things I use up a ton um, or like even like, again, the floss, it's like, I love that. That's exciting to me and I do wanna share it because if you were like in my real life, that's probably something I would gift you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoy them. I think I'm gonna keep up with the kind of four or five month empty thing, maybe even half a year, we'll see. It's definitely been nice to just kind of lower the pressure, use things as it actually makes sense to. And I really feel like I had some more staple, bigger things to show you guys instead of just like little samples here and there and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.